My name is Doretta Lott and I work at the Hannibal Clinic and I'm honored to be a part of this program today. We're going to take you through a series of some chair exercises. That's a good starting point for anybody. When you're ready to increase your repetitions or you're ready to have a little more of a challenge, you can add a little bit to your chair exercises. So let's get started. And we're going to use a band this time. These are awesome little things. These come in a lot of different sizes and different weights. And they're stretchy. So with the band, it's all about resistance. And guess what? You control the resistance. There's no set resistance. You get to control that. So we're going to start in our legs. You're going to place the band under your feet. Go ahead and just bring it up with your hands and hang on to the top of it here. What we're going to do here is a little hip motion, a little outer thigh. You're going to step on it with the left side. With the right side, you're going to move the leg out and in. Try to always keep just a little bit of tension on the band. So three. You can keep your feet right on the floor if you need to do that, or you can lift them a little bit higher. One more here. And you're feeling this probably over here on the side. You can even feel a little bit of inner thigh there. So now we're going to switch it. We're going to do the other side. And here we go. There we go. Out and in. Out and in. So you're holding the bands with your hands so that you're getting a little bit of resistance here. Out, in, out, and in. All right. In this next one, just bring the band under one foot. I'm going to have you use your hands to hang on to it. Create a little resistance. Bring the leg up and hold it for five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and down. Go ahead and do the other side the same way. And again, you, you're controlling the resistance here. So just hang on for five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it down. Go ahead and place this band under the first leg, under the foot of the first leg. And from here, we're going to do a lift. We're going to go up just a tiny bit and down. And again, I know you can't really see probably really well what I'm doing with this band, but I'm just pulling it back toward me. And that's giving it just a little bit of resistance as you bring the leg up and bring the leg down. And you want to control that motion both directions. Two more. Up, little lift down, little lift up, and a little release. Bringing that back down, we're going to do the other side. This is just meant to get you a little bit stronger. And with um, consistency, you'll get there. All right. Here we go on this side. I'm pulling this band toward me, coming up a tiny bit, and releasing it back down. Bringing the leg up a little bit, releasing it down. Three. Here's four. And here's five. Go ahead and bring it down. Let's go ahead and stretch out those legs. Later on, if we bring back more videos, we'll show you how to do some more stuff standing. Maybe behind the chair or something. A little stretch right here, just kind of lean into it for the hamstrings. Now we're going to do a little bit of arm stuff. These bands are awesome. They really are. So you're just going to put your hands wherever's comfortable for you. Try to keep the wrist straight. And again, your posture is really important no matter what you're doing. In this chair today, we need to kind of be leaning, coming forward, not leaning forward, but just sitting forward, so, just, so don't sit back. And you're going to pull the band out and keeping the wrist straight. Just hold it. And then when you release it, don't bring it all the way back in. Hold a little resistance on the band. So here's two. Working in the chest. Here's three working in the arms, and honestly, I can even feel a little bit of this in my upper back. Here's four, and we have one more. One more here. All right. 
in the next move with the band. You're going to bring the band with your arm across your chest. We're going to press straight up and straight down. And again, using resistance with the band. Up, try not to drop it all the way back down. Come up, again, trying not to drop it all the way back down, but controlling the move completely. Up and down. We're going to do a couple more on this side. And we're going to do one more on this side. And we're going to release it down, and we're going to take it to the other side. So this time, again, just bringing that arm right across your chest, getting the elbow up and trying to straighten the wrist. Straight up, release it down. Think about releasing it down and not dropping it down for a little control. Three, four, and five. Getting those arm muscles strong. All right. We have a little tricep stuff here. We're going to bring that band back under the feet. Try to kind of keep it flat under there, then it won't get roly-poly on you. All right, setting up nice and straight. Bring the elbows back with this one. This is going to be our grocery bag workout here. You're going to bring the arms up and down. You may need less or more resistance. You can control that by however much you hold. The lower you go, the more tighter it's going to be. The more you come up here, the less tighter it's going to be. So I need this a little tighter for myself here. but. Come up, release it. Up, elbows are back. Up, release it. We'll do two more, so there's one. Last time here. And one more thing for the arms. We're going to do a little tricep kickback with this band. Again, you're going to bring this across your chest. You're going to find whatever works for you as far as your resistance. Elbow's going to be bent. You're going to press it back, release it, and again, holding a little tension on it. Release it. This is working the back of the muscle, the tricep. And one more. And switching sides. You'll find what works for you. It just takes time. All right. So here we go again. We're going back. Bending the elbow coming in, straightening the elbow coming out, but keeping it soft. Don't lock it in. Four and five. We're going to put the band down. We're going to finish out with the core a little bit. So again, thinking about really moving through the abs and the ribs and leaning forward. It's just, it doesn't have to be a big move, just a tiny move. We'll do five. Concentrate on it before you head down. Pulling the abs in tight. Come in. Come back. Two more. And one. Think about that concentration being right here. All right. Now. Again, that little twist, but let's keep it really nice and slow because you could hurt yourself on this one if you're not careful. Be careful. Go slow. So just turning from the obliques. The legs are staying in front. Come back to the center before you go to the other side, mainly for safety, and do that five times. This is our second time. You may think that you don't get a workout in a chair, but if you're doing this and you're using the right kind of control, you're going to get a workout. It's good stuff. One more. One more. And we're going to do a little stretch. We didn't stretch anything this time, so let's get a little stretch in the leg. Really good hamstring stretch right here. And another one on the other side. If you're able to do this and you're comfortable with it, go ahead and bring a knee into the chest. And then on the other side, knee to the chest. There it is. Let's do a stretch in the arm again. 
and the other side. Actually, this time, let's go ahead and add a little shoulder rope. Woo, that feels pretty good. And maybe go in the other direction. All right, if you can do this one, a little core and a back stretch right here, if you can just lean in and then just roll through the back as you come back up. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions about the Hannibal Clinic Healthy Weight Wellness Center or the program and how it works, we have a number for you to call, 573-231-3738. Thanks guys.